All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to copy a segment using a compass like this in straight edge. All right, so ignore the markings on your ruler. We're just using this as a straight edge. So it would not be legal to just sit here and uh, copy the segment by measuring this like, oh, this is 8.5 centimeters. So I'm just going to go down and draw 8.5 centimeters. No, we're doing a true geometric construction. So ignore the markings and just use the edge as a straight edge. Okay. Um, so the first step is to put a point on your paper anywhere, really doesn't matter, and very lightly draw a ray, um, meaning just draw a faint line going to one side. Doesn't matter exactly how long it is. It's just make sure it's longer than your original segment that we're about to copy. Okay? Now, use your compass to match the length of the original segment. So open your compass to be the exact width of the original segment. All right, so now I've matched the width of the original segment. So now I'm going to move my compass and I'm going to put the, the point of my compass at the point that I started my ray from, the end point of the ray we just drew. And now we'll just make a nice little arc Okay, so make a mark like this through your ray. So now obviously this distance is the same length as your segment. So really we've copied the segment right now. I'm just going to go back and darken that in. So if I were to put a point right here where that intersection is, you can see the two endpoints that represent my new segment. So now just go back and draw it in darker, like this. And that's it. We copied the segment. Boom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the geometric construction of copying an angle. So we're going to take this angle and we're going to copy it somewhere else on the paper using nothing but a compass and a straight edge. As always, ignore the numbers on your ruler. Just use it as a straight edge. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is draw ourselves a ray. Okay, I think I'll just put it here. So just put a point anywhere on your paper, it doesn't matter exactly where, and draw yourself a ray. Draw this kind of faintly for now. Okay, that's going to represent one side of your angle. Next, take your compass and you can really adjust your compass to any size you want. It doesn't really matter right now. But put the point of your compass at the vertex of the angle like this. And go ahead and draw yourself an arc that intersects both sides of this angle. So draw yourself an arc like this doesn't matter exactly how big it is okay just draw yourself an arc that hits both sides now without changing the size of your compass move on over and put the tip of your compass on the end point of the ray that you drew at first now draw yourself a nice big arc like this Okay, just draw that arc. Now that you have that arc drawn, now we're going to resize the compass. Um, do you see that we have these two intersection points here? Where'd my pencil go? Oh, well, well I had a separate one. Anyway, I'll, I'll just keep going. Um, put the, temp the tip of your compass at one of the intersection points. And then adjust the size of your compass so that the pencil 
falls at the other intersection point. In other words, resize your compass to match the um, distance between the two intersection points, okay? So now that you've matched that distance, you can take your compass, put, w put the point of your compass at the intersection that you just created with the arc and the ray that you drew, all right? Put the tip of your compass at that intersection point and then um, draw yourself an arc to show the intersection. Now, remember what the width of this compass is matching. This is the width of the angle at these intersection points. So we've just created the width of the angle at these intersection points. We've recreated those two intersection points. So I should be able to take my straight edge now and I should be able to see exactly where to draw the other side of the angle. So I can now draw the other side of my angle through that intersection and of course going through the vertex. Okay, and that's really it. I'm just going to go back and darken in the first side of my angle like this. Just going to darken it in a little bit. And that's it. We've copied the angle. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.